let's see, where are we? We're at section 19. And I haven't read it in advance, but I will pour a beer in advance. Or an ale, excuse me. An old chub scotch ale. And I recommend this. 8% alcohol. It is a real scotch. Is it scotch whiskey? Ale. This shit will put you in orbit if you're not careful. Definitely puts me in a religious frame of mind. Not really, but nothing does <laughs> anymore. Okay, that's just for company. All right, 19. Let's see what this is about. The commandment of God, and it's all capitalized. <laughs> they, they went full caps. And a, a commandment of God. All right, now in regular italics, the masthead goes, and not of man. No, God commanded this, not man. Revealed through Joseph Smith, the prophet. To Martin Harris at Manchester, New York, March 1830. By him who is eternal, Christ affirms his omnipotence, declares that punishment and suffering are inevitable consequences of unrepentant sins and also if you're full of beatings you know you might have some space demons in you too so hey take care of that also Ex explains the significance of endless torment and eternal damnation reaffirms the actuality of his own suffering in the flesh. That's nothing compared to what you, you're telling him, talking about hell. Come on, man, he was like, what, an, up in a half hour, half an hour? I mean, even Pilate was going, what, he's already dead? What a wuss. Actually, they probably beat his ass too much and probably falling with that cross and help. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Pilate was like, what? He's already dead? He's only been up there a little while. <clears throat> yeah. Versus an eternity of screaming agony. Because they don't like you very much because you didn't behave yourself. <clears throat> Emphasizes the necessity of prayer gives specific commandments to Martin Harris. But they're sharing them with us. First one. I am Alpha and Omega. Christ the Lord, yea. Even I am He. The beginning and the end. That's Alpha and Omega. You know, Greek A and Greek Z, basically. The Redeemer of the world. Two. I, having accomplished and finished the will of him whose I am, even the Father, concerning me, having done this, that I might subdue all things unto myself. Three. Retaining all power, even 
to the destroying of Satan. You can destroy Satan. Wow. Let's do it then. And his works. At the end of the world. You must be the end of time. I guess, the end of us, because the world's going to keep going, man. I mean, if you obliterate it, it'd probably reform itself, you know? <laughs> it's going to be alright, because we don't give a fuck. We should, though. But instead, we obsess on nonsense. And postpone important problems, because it's, yeah, Band-Aid will do, the rapture's going to happen. Yeah, we need to keep voting for people like this. Sorry. Fucking went on tangent. At the end of the world. And the last great day of judgment. Which I shall pass upon the inhabitants thereof. Judging every man according to, the, to his works and the deeds which he hath done. You know, that's kind of what I like about Mormons, actually, because, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike Mormons at all. I like them. Is they're all about works and deeds. Because these books tell them it's all about works and deeds. <laughs> A lot of Christians, oh, it's about faith, so fuck you. I got my faith. I don't need to do all those good ditty good deed things. Alright. Four. And surely every man must repent or suffer. For I, God, am endless. Five. Wherefore I provoke not the judgments which I shall pass, but woe shall go forth, weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Yea, to those who are found on my left hand, which is evil. Yeah, because most Muslims wipe their ass with their left hand. I was told that. Because they got to turn the page with their right hand. I guess they sit on a, on a table because I'm holding this with my left hand. And uh, I don't give a fuck. Alright. Six. Nevertheless, it is not written that there shall be no end to this torment. But it is written endless torment, endless, for picking the wrong religion. Shame on you. You needed to pick the right one, and this was it. Endless it isn't. Seven. Again. It is written. Eternal damnation. And that's in italics, that part. Wherefore, it is more express than other scriptures. It is more express than other scriptures that it might work upon the hearts of the children of men. All together for my name's glory. Eight. Wherefore, I will explain unto you this mystery, for it is meet unto you to know even as mine apostle. Nine, I speak unto you that are chosen in this thing even as one. That is my... Wait that you may enter into my rest. That's in heaven. Up there in the clouds somewhere. Or whatever. 
but it, however, I also like rationalize it. Ten! Four! Behold! The mystery of godliness! How great it is! For behold, I am endless! And the punishment which is given from my hand is endless punishment. For endless, and that's capitalized now, endless is my name. Wherefore, eleven, eternal punishment is God's punishment. What a nice guy. Twelve, endless punishment is God's punishment. Thirteen. Wherefore, I command you to repent and keep the commandments which I have received by the hand of my servant Joseph Smith, Jr. in my name. Fourteen. And it is by my almighty power that you have received them. Trust me. Here. And, uh, here. Damn, that was heavy. Solid gold. Uh, Fifteen. Therefore, I command you to repent. Repent! Lest I smite you by the rod of my mouth. You got a rod in your mouth? Uh, shall we? Oh wait, that's God. Excuse me. And by my wrath and by my anger and your suffering be sore. How <laughs> sore you know not. Not yet. Uh, how exquisite you know not. Yea, how hard you how hard to bear, you know not! You don't know Jack. Or shit. Sixteen. For behold, I, God, this is God talking, I'm just passing it on. Have suffered these things for all. Oh, that's God Jr., excuse me. God, the sequel. Better than before. Slightly more compassionate. Slightly. Except. Yeah, he doesn't get mad to slay you. He's like, God, he invented fucking hell. Thank you, Jesus. You're a prince. Or thought you were, anyway. Have suffered these things for all that they might not suffer if they would repent. So if you're a Christian, or even better yet, a Mormon, you get to live for eternity. Make your own galaxies and planets full of... You could be that kid with a magnifying glass looking at the anthill. I think his name was Charlie. <laughs> Seventeen. But if they would not repent, they must suffer even as high. But much more and much longer. Uh, come on, man. It was like half hour, a couple of hours. I mean, he was dead so fast. He was dead so fast, Pilate was like surprised. And then three days later, he's alive and he's God! So, we get to do that too if we're bad? Even as high? Yep. I guess not. Eighteen. Which suffering 
cause myself, even God, the greatest of all, to tremble because of pain. And to bleed at every pore, and to suffer both body and spirit, because we all know God has a spirit and a body. And would that I might not drink the bitter cup and shrink. Okay. 19! Nevertheless, Glory be to the Father! And I partook and finished my preparations unto the children of man. He's done. His suffering is over and everything's great. He's all happy, full of bliss. But if he's pissed at you, it's fucking forever, Biot. <laughs> Twenty. Wherefore, I command you again to repent, lest I humble you with my almighty power. Kid with a magnifying glass. Fucking with the ants. And that you confess your sins, lest you suffer these punishments of which I have spoken. Of which, uh, of which I have spoken, of which in the smallest, yea, even in the least degree, you have tasted at the time I withdrew my spirit. I'm fine. 21. And I command you that you preach not but repentance and show not these things unto the world until it is wisdom in me. What it do? That's so nice. Twenty two. Four they cannot bear meat now, but milk they must receive. Wherefore, they must not know these things, lest they perish. Wow. It's like opening up the Ark of the Covenants and going, Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. uh. Okay, 23. Learn of me and listen to my words. Walk in the meekness of my spirit. He's so meek. He wouldn't brag or anything about how great he is. He's so meek. Meekness of my spirit. That's where I got lost. And you shall have peace in me. 24. I am Jesus Christ. We figured that out finally. I came by the will of the Father, and I do His will, and you've said that all before. Say something fucking new. Even if it's about, like, a collab or some shit. <clears throat> okay, let's see if he says anything new. 25. And again, and again, I command thee that thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Whoops. <gasps> Nor seek thy neighbor's life. Alright, I'm, I'm good there. 26. And it was only like a mental crime, you know? Most of the time. Almost always. Uh. 26. And again, I command thee that thou shalt not cover, covet thine own property. 
but impart it freely to the printing of the Book of Mormon. That's verse 26. Uh, which contains the truth and the word of God. I command you, don't you be coveting your own fucking possessions. We need to fucking get this book out. So we can send it back to heaven. It's like a lending library. There you go. Just kidding. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Which is my word to the Gentile? Thank you. I think I'm one of those. They tried. Those elders. They sure did. It's funny. The new elders won't even talk to me. I think somebody warned them. I wanted to talk to the new elders. I've seen them, but they always are moving out of the way. They're always going away from me. That's too bad. I don't want to cause any problems. I just want to talk to them. On video. Okay. That soon it may go to the Jew. That's big of you. Of whom the Lamanites are a remnant that they may believe the gospel and look not for a Messiah to come who has already come and will come again. <clears throat> 28. No, that did make sense. Right? No? <laughs> Stop waiting for the Messiah to come for the first time. We're waiting for him to come again. He already came and you missed it. He's coming again. <laughs> uh, where the fuck am I now? Let's... Oh, over here. <clears throat> 28. And again. I command thee that thou shalt pray vocally, out loud. Pray vocally as well as in my, thy heart. Talk about brainwashing, man. Keep praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. Come on, really. JC said you God already knows what you want before you even thought of it. And if it's God's will, you're hooked up. If it's God's will, you don't get it. All the praying in the world won't do a bit of difference. It'll do any good. But it might feel good to talk to yourself and work it out. You might decide, hey, that was so smart of God not to give me that shit, because that's what I really wanted. That's, that's right. Right? Yay. Before. And again I command. 28. And again I command thee that thou shalt pray vocally as well as in thy heart. Yea, before the world as well as in secret. Fuck you. Joey. Junior. That's what he should have said. He might have uh, been able to keep some of his money. Instead, he felt, Ugh! got to get this printed. Ugh! That fucker's happy. Solid gold. Twenty-nine. And thou shalt declare glad tidings. Yea, publish it upon the mountains. And upon every high place. Isn't that a pagan endeavor? And, wait, that's right, you get better reception up high. If you're trying to reach heaven and it's up there somewhere, you want to be at a high spot to get help it along. And it helps if you get the whole state of Texas behind you.
Well, please upon the mountains and upon every high place and upon every people that thou shalt be permitted to see. If you're permitted to see them. 30. And thou shalt do it with all humility, trusting in me, reviling against revilers. Wow. 31. <clears throat> and of tenants thou shalt not talk, but thou shalt declare repentance and faith on the Savior and remission of sins by baptism and by fire, yea, even the Holy Ghost. 32. Behold, this is a great and the last commandment which I shall give unto you concerning this matter. That's Martin Harris he's talking to, not us, unfortunately. For this shall suffice for thy daily walk even until the end of thy life. 33. And misery thou shalt receive if thou wilt slight these counsels, yea, even the destruction of thyself and property. 34. Impart a portion of thy property, yea, even part of thy lands and all save the support of thy family. We'll allow you all life support, but we want every fucking thing else. Isn't that big of us? But you get to live forever in cloud nine. All right. 35. Pay the debt thou hast contracted with the printer. Come on, we need to pay for this book to print it. <laughs> He's got to pay the printer. God wants you to pay the bill. Put your farm up. What the fuck is wrong with you? You got faith or don't you? Are you a sheep or a mouse? Or a human being of the earth? In that case, you're gonna burn in hell for not falling to this shit. Release thyself from bondage. You come on, you gotta pay that bill. You promise. God heard it. You better do it. Beyond. Thirty-six. Leave thy house and home, except when thou shalt desire to see thy family. Thirty-seven. And speak freely to all, yea, preach, exhort, declare the truth. And that's with a small T, not a capital. Even with a loud voice, with a sound of rejoicing, do that happen. Crying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Lord God. 38. Pray always, like you already fucking said. Out loud, silently, privately, in public. If there's any pride, crush it! Pride is not allowed. 
pray always, and I will pour out my Spirit upon you. His invisible Holy Spirit. His Holy Ghost. And great shall be your blessing. Yay! Cross my heart. Even more than if it should obtain treasures of the earth incorruptible to the extent thereof. 39. Behold, canst thou read this without rejoicing and lifting up thy heart for gladness? I mean, really? What a read to say. Forty. Or canst thou run about longer as a blind guide? Forty-one. Or canst thou be humble and big? And conduct thyself wisely before me. Yea, come unto me, thy Savior. Amen. And that's it for fucking 19. And Martin Harris, swollen it, book, line, and sinker. Let me know if you learned anything. I, w I would love to hear about it. Open channel. Video responses, comments, whatever. Just do it on the video section. That's not on my homepage, not PMs, unless you want to show me something cool. All right? Let me know if you learned something. Peace. The fuck? Out? Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.